What's up everybody? Welcome back to another comic book review. My name is Chris and today I've got a five for one. It's I've got all the prelude to the weddings which is Robin versus Ra's al Ghul, Nightwing versus Hush, Batgirl versus Riddler, Red Hood versus Anarchy, and Harley Quinn versus the Joker. Um... I'm not gonna lie. I I'm pretty sure these were just a cash grab from DC. They figured people like me that get everything every week was gonna get it, and they were right. I mean, <laughs> it worked. Um, I know I'm not the only one that got all these. So, um, I thought Robin versus Ra's al Ghul was the best. The very first one, I really liked it. I really liked Robin and uh, and Catwoman's dynamic at the end of it. Their little talk that they had at the end, I thought that was really good. Um, and I liked the the whole premise too. I liked uh, you know uh, Robin got drugged and, and everything. It, it was really good. Um, the rest of them not so much. Uh, Nightwing versus Hush wasn't bad. It it was. It was good. It it had a neat little dynamic there between um, Nightwing and Batman at the end, where you know they pretty much said you know I, they both said that they wish they could you know hang out more, pretty much. Um, but other than that, eh. Um, Batgirl versus Riddler was my second favorite, which is really surprising because I usually don't like. It anything with Batgirl. I don't like hipster shit. And that, you know, it kind of ruins it for me, but I really liked this one. It was weird. I, it took a really, I thought it was the darkest one for real. It, it, uh, like the Riddler thought he, I, I don't, I mean, I don't want to ruin anything if people do want to read it, but Riddler thinks he's in love with Batgirl and that's, I don't know. It's just really dark. Like he kidnaps people and tries to get her to save him, and I don't know. It's it's pretty dark and really weird, but it's I think it's probably the second best one. I actually like the story. Um, she doesn't do a lot of talking. It's mostly her listening to um, a cassette that he recorded for her to give her clues and. I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, Red Hood versus Anarchy it just did nothing for me at all. I mean, it was... I don't know. It was... Something. You know, they had... They, it was like they wanted to do five parts, and so they just kind of... Eh, who we put together? Well, Red Hood and Anarchy, I guess. That's, I mean, that's how it felt. I don't know. I mean, and I'm not, it wasn't, it wasn't bad. It just didn't do anything for me. I didn't, I didn't care the whole time. Um, and then there was Harley Quinn versus the Joker, which I thought was pretty good. But it was still, I've read better Harley Quinn versus Joker or, you know, Harley Quinn and Joker stories. But I've also read a lot worse, too. Um, it was... Decent. It, it wasn't great, by no means. But it wasn't bad at all, either. I mean, it was it was pretty good. Um, there is a whole slew of artists that worked on this. I'm not even... Like, I can't even... Uh, go through all of them here. Um, I'll just say what's on the covers. Walker, Hennessy, Gray, Belair... Um, Moore Bond Villain, which is a cool ass name, by the way. Um, Jung Marzan Jr. and Bel Air again. Um, Ferdin Fernandez and Caliz. And that, I thought that was the weakest art of the of the run of this. Sorry. Um, and Bassery and Colleen. They were all wrote by Seeley. I think it's Tom Seeley. 
but I th- I mean they were they were good enough. It's not like they were bad stories. I think the stories were really good, at, and there was two of them that were really good. Tim Seeley, sorry. Uh, there were two stories that were really good, and the rest of them felt like they were just kind of. I don't know, just there to to keep the people like me satisfied that buy everything. But I don't know. Uh, I mean, I I think my biggest my biggest bugaboo with all of them as a whole is that every cover has this wording on it. The 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 word bubbles. I hate that shit. I just, man, you, like, they ruined the cover, man. Save that shit for the inside. I don't want to see that on a cover. Jesus Christ, it's 2018. Like, we all want virgin variants. That's what we want. And DC's giving it to us. They're giving us, like, damn near virgin variants. I mean, that's, and that's great. That's what everybody wants. So... Why would you, like, if everybody is buying up all of your almost virgin variants, and everybody's buying up Marvel's virgin variants, why would you put shit like that on the cover of a regular book? It does, that doesn't make any sense. But, I don't know, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I, uh, rating wise, if I had to rate all of them, I'd do it together. Because, I mean, really... You're not going to get one without getting all of them. I wouldn't think. Um, and this is just this is just a build up to the wedding. This is just to to sell more issues. And uh, and I'm fine with that. And I do that. I buy stuff all the time that I really shouldn't, but I do just because I'm a I've got a problem. I've got a, a comic book buying problem. Um, but rating wise, to rate all of them, oh man, I would give them probably a five. Five five out of ten, five point oh out of ten. If if I had to rate them individually, which would be really hard right now off the spot, because it's uh, I don't know. I would say Robin versus Ra's al Ghul, easy seven and seven out of ten, maybe seven and a half. Uh, Nightwing versus Hush, uh, six. Let's say let's say Robin versus Ra's al Ghul, seven point five. Nightwing versus Hush is six point oh. Batgirl versus the Riddler, 7.0. Red Hood versus Van Ar- Anarchy, sorry about that, uh, 4.0. I just did not give a shit at all. And I thought the art was pretty weak. And uh, Harley Quinn versus the Joker, probably a 5. Because it was good, but it wasn't great. I mean, it was it was kind of kind of your run-of-the-mill um, Harley Quinn Joker story. Other than I. It, it was pretty neat. Um, Harley Quinn keeps getting one over on the Joker till the end. There, obviously, if if you read it, you'll find out that what actually happened. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, as far as cash grabs go, whatever it is, what it is. Batman and Catwoman only get married once, so. Might as well buy all up everything, just like the issue number 50. I'm gonna buy up everything, so. I guess, um, if you, if you like this review, uh, please give me a like and subscribe, and if you didn't like it, then please leave a comment telling me why. Thank you.